Good morning, folks. Today is Monday, May 6th, 2024, and here's what's coming up this week in TAPS. The final two state golf championships of the year are underway this morning. Catch the 5A Boys and Girls Tournament at the Squaw Valley Golf Club in Glen Rose and the 6A Boys and Girls Tournaments at the Cottonwood Creek Golf Course in Waco. You can download the TAPS Golf app to follow live results as they are reported by the players or follow at TAPS underscore golf on Twitter for team finishes at the end of the championship. We've got more information on the TAPS website. I'll have links for you in the show description. Also this week, the TAPS Baseball and Softball Final Four tournaments get started this Friday at the University of Texas at Arlington. Softball Division 3 and 4 are up first on May 10th and 11th, with Divisions 1 and 2 on May 13th and 14th. Baseball Division 4 and 5 tournaments take place on May 10th and 11th, with Divisions 2 and 3 over May 13th and 14th, and the Division 1 tournament taking place over May 14th and 15th. That's 27 games over five days up in Arlington, thanks to the folks at Clay Gould Ball Park and Allen Sachs Field at UTA for hosting us again this year. In softball, regional rounds have yet to be completed. The same goes for Divisions 1 and 2 and 3 of baseball, but we've got our final four brackets set for baseball Divisions 4 and 5. In Division 4, we'll have a Temple Christian School of Fort Worth versus Covenant Classical, also of Fort Worth. That game will be settled May 10th, starting at 1 p.m. Fighting for the second spot in the final game, we have Northland Christian School of Houston and First Baptist Academy of Pasadena. That will be decided on May 10th, starting at 10 a.m. In Division 5, it's Christian Life Preparatory of Fort Worth versus Bethesda Christian School of Fort Worth. That semifinal is May 10th at 7 p.m. On the other side, we've got Sacred Heart Catholic School of Hallettsville versus St. Paul Catholic School of Shiner. That game is at 4 p.m. Catch the Baseball Divisions 4 and 5 Championships on Saturday, May 11th. Follow up with the brackets in all baseball and softball divisions by visiting taps.biz and clicking on Brackets. You can get tickets at taps.biz slash tickets or watch live on TAPS TV. You can also listen to all games for free on TAPS Radio. I'll have links to all of that in the show description, but don't forget to follow at TAPS Baseball and at TAPS Softball on Twitter for everything you need heading into the championships. Last week, we held three state championship events. The 3A and 4A Boys and Girls State Golf Championships took place in Glen Rose and Waco on Monday and Tuesday. And here are your team results. In 3A Girls Golf, Weatherford Christian School is your state champion with Lubbock Christian School your runner-up. Cornerstone Christian Academy of McKinney came in third and San Jacinto Christian Academy of Amarillo took the fourth place spot. Our top girls finisher was J.C. Jenkins of Rose Hill Christian School with a total score of 134. In 3A Boys, Rose Hill Christian School is your state champion. Trinity Christian School of Midland your runner-up. Coram Deo Academy of Plano took the third place spot and Denton Cavalry Academy came in fourth. The top boys finisher for 3A was Caden Jenkins, also of Rose Hill Christian School, with a total score of 143. In 4A Girls Golf, Logos Preparatory Academy is your state champion. Trinity Christian School of Lubbock, your runner-up. Cypress Christian School took the third place spot, and Covenant Christian Academy of Colleyville came in fourth. The top girls finisher for 4A Golf was Sydney Robertson of All Saints Episcopal School in Tyler. She had a total score of 140. In 4A Boys Golf, the Covenant School of Dallas is your champion, followed by St. John Paul II Catholic High School. The Brook Hill School took third place, and McKinney Christian Academy came in fourth. The top boys finisher was J.C. Hewlett of the Geneva School of Bernie, with a total score of 130. Once again, the final two golf championships are taking place today and tomorrow. We'll have team results for you in next week's episode. Also last week.
The 2024 TAPS Track and Field State Championships took place at Midway ISD's Panther Stadium in Hewitt, and here are your team results. Oh, no. In 1A Girls, first place went to Heritage Christian School of Fredericksburg, second place went to Texoma Christian, Brazosport Christian took the third place spot, and the Atonement Academy came in fourth. In 1A Boys, Brazosport Christian is your state champion, followed by Prestonwood Christian Academy North. Cornerstone Christian of San Angelo came in third, and Fredericksburg Heritage again came in fourth. In 2A Girls Track, St. Paul Catholic of Shiner took the first place spot, followed by First Baptist Academy. Abilene Christian School came in third, and Sacred Heart of Hallettsville took the fourth place spot. In 2A Boys, First Baptist Academy is your champion, followed by Providence Classical. St. Joseph Catholic Academy of Bryan took the third place spot, and Mercy Culture Preparatory came in fourth. In 3A Girls, Rose Hill Christian School took the first place spot, followed by Covenant Classical of Fort Worth. Lubbock Christian came in third, and Coram Deo of Plano took the fourth place spot. In 3A Boys, Central Texas Christian took the first place spot, followed by Lubbock Christian as runner-up. Coram Deo took the third place spot, and First Baptist Christian of Pasadena came in fourth. In 4A Girls Track and Field, we had a tie for first place. Brentwood Christian School and Cypress Christian School both tied for first. Legacy Prep Christian Academy came in third, and Pantigo Christian took the fourth place spot. In 4A Boys, Trinity Christian School of Lubbock is your state champion, followed by Holy Cross of San Antonio. Brentwood Christian School came in third, and Cypress Christian took the fourth place spot. In 5A Girls, Fort Bend Christian Academy is your champion, followed by Southwest Christian School of Fort Worth. The Woodlands Christian School came in third, and Midland Christian took the fourth place girls spot. In 5A Boys, Lutheran South Academy is your state champion, followed by Fort Bend Christian Academy as runner-up. Liberty Christian of Argyle came in third, and Midland Christian School took the fourth place spot. In 6A Girls, St. Agnes Academy of Houston is your state champion, followed by John Paul II High School of Plano. Ursuline Academy of Dallas came in third, and Antonian High School of San Antonio took the fourth place girls spot. And finally, in 6A Boys State Track, St. Thomas of Houston is your state champion, followed by Prestonwood Christian Academy of Plano. Antonian High School of San Antonio took the third place spot, and Bishop Lynch of Dallas came in fourth. We will have full official results posted to the TAPS website later this morning. Thank you to all the folks at Delta Timing for covering our meet and for keeping the unofficial results rolling all meet. Thank you to the staff at Panther Stadium for hosting us again and to all of our officials and support staff for keeping things running smoothly despite the bad weather. That's it for this week in taps. You'll hear from us at baseball and softball next week. This week in taps is a production of the Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools. It is produced and hosted by me, John Skees, the director of media for taps. Brian Bunselmeyer is our executive director. Robert Huckabee is our associate director and director of compliance. Steve Prudhomme is our associate director. Steve Fuhulin is our athletic director. Rhonda Smith is our director of fine arts. Liz Cornett is our general manager of corporate partnerships. Kelly Bay, Delaney Bunselmeyer, Will Dixon, and Vicki Morgan help keep everything running smoothly in the TAPS office from transfer paperwork to event logistics to live broadcasts. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Get, get, get.